The day has finally come. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Game of Fred, and welcome back to another Pokemon Guide video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to move Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home and also into Pokemon Sword and Shield, the current Pokemon games. As well, if it's your first time, receive your G Max Mel medal. Now, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I do guide videos like this all the time. I try to put out a Pokemon video once a day, as well as cover other games and do other game guides right here on the channel. So if you are digging the vibes, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button if you find this video informative and you're enjoying the content. Hit that like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommendations so other people can check out the videos ring that bell there if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video in the comment section below if you're having any troubles moving your Pokemon from Pokemon Go into home that is related to this video let's have that conversation down in the comment section below I actually take time out of my day to answer all comments left on all of my videos so if you do leave a comment about questions about the topics of the videos I will jump down there chat it up with you guys so let me know your thoughts on this feature I know there's a lot of controversy going on right now as far as with how Niantic has chosen to actually charge players literally up to $10 to bring Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home if you do not want to wait the week after bringing a Pokemon initially over. Now, with that out of the way, I do think it's kind of fair the system they have created as far as the points of how much a Pokemon is actually worth. Like, I think you could bring over upwards to like 10 to 15 Pokemon that are not shiny, but if a Pokemon is shiny, you're going to bring like five. And then if the Pokemon is a legendary or mythical shiny Pokemon, you only could bring one per week. I think this is not a terrible idea. It's not what people wanted. Obviously, they wanted just to mass transfer everything from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home, and I could see the issue that Niantic might be facing with. They do charge for storage for Pokemon inside Pokemon Go, so this is a way to kind of slow down people filtering out Pokemon that they want to keep forever. As well as, I see this as a way that the Pokemon company in general wants to put value on shiny legendaries, wants to put values on shiny mythical Pokemon, wants to put value on shiny Pokemon's period. And this is a way. So if you have, you know, 10 hundred shiny Gastly's, you cannot just drop them all off into home in one shot. You need to actually bring them over piecemeal by piecemeal, which again, it's kind of cool for someone like me that don't play Pokemon Go way too much. I had to wait till they dropped the level down to under 35 in order to do this. So initially when this rolled out, I missed the boat and I couldn't actually bring over Pokemon from Go into home. And it upset me that one Pokemon company and Niantic chose to roll it out only to level 40 players because it kind of was a slap to the face for all us Pokemon home premium players. But I kind of understand the rollout of Pokemon Go already. This is how they roll out new features so the servers won't get bottled down and you know it's a way to just have a small percentage of players try out the new features first and then roll it back to more players as they go along. Now, that's enough of me talking. How do you bring Pokemon into Pokemon Home from Go? So, what you wanna do is click the Pokeball at the bottom of the screen to bring up your menu. And then at the top, you wanna hit the gear to click open your settings menu. Once you're in the settings menu, you wanna scroll all the way down until you see um, the settings with the whole bunch of Pokemon names. It says Pokemon Plus. It says uh, Nintendo Switch, Pokemon Home, which we wanna click on. Pokemon Go Plus again. Get support, advanced settings. You wanna to go to that section all the way down and then click on Pokemon Home. Once you are there, you're gonna be hit with the screen that says Pokemon Home. It says you can use the Pokemon Go transporter to send Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home. You will need to use the same Nintendo account you use for your Pokemon Home. The Pokemon Go transporter requires Pokemon Transport Energy 
to send a Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Go transfer energy charges over time. Tap here to learn more about sending Pokemon to Pokemon Home. And it basically sends you to a blog post that goes over the basic tutorial stuff. But the long short of it is the main thing you wanna worry about is actually knowing the Nintendo account you want to actually send your Pokemon to because worse come the worst, you actually send it to a wrong email or a wrong account or link a wrong account. I do think you can deactivate the account you have it set to, but just to be safe, what you wanna do is make sure, double check, triple check, <laughs> that you are sending it to the correct Nintendo account that is connected to your Pokemon Home, that is, you know, the Pokemon Home that you use on your phone, as well as the one that you use on your Nintendo Switch. Also it says Pokemon sent to Pokemon Home cannot be sent back to Pokemon Go. That is something you want to take note of as well. Once the Pokemon leaves Pokemon Go, you get a candy and it's gone forever. It's just like you transport it or send it off to the candy crusher machine. Now for this video, I'm gonna be sending over my shiny Lugia. Now, one thing you gotta notice is that all of my shiny Pokemon, I have favorited for whatever reason, and I can't send it over because if the Pokemon is favorited, they don't let you trade or do anything with it. So make sure the Pokemon that you actually want to send over is unfavorited inside of your game and then once it's unfavorited you can go and look it up uh, that's exactly what i'm doing right now i'm gonna send over my shiny lugia and again shiny lugia will take up all of your pokemon go transfer energy that is something you do want to know when you are sending a shiny legendary that's going to be the only pokemon you can send over that whole entire week versus if you wanted to send up to five other shiny pokemon you can do that as well if they're not legendary also i want to just put it out there if you don't know you can send pokemon to pokemon let's go pikachu and pokemon let's go eevee for free if you have a copy of those games in doing so you'll be able to catch the pokemon again inside of those games and then bring them over to home that way because pokemon let's go pikachu and pokemon let's go eevee are compatible to pokemon home so technically you could bring over all 151 gen pokemon if you have them inside pokemon go and for whatever reason you want to bring them over to home you could do it that way i'm actually going to do another video on the pokemon go living decks inside of pokemon home I, i'm a, i'm working on a whole video on it keep reminding me in the comments to keep it up because i got a lot to go to actually finish it but i think it's going to be a pretty cool video and a pretty cool showcase as well now once you pick the pokemon that you want to send you get sent to this screen that basically tells you the same thing that once a pokemon is gone it's gone forever and the pokemon cannot be sent back into pokemon go are you sure you want to send over this pokemon you click yes and it will send over the lugia into pokemon home it will give you a mystery box as well just like in pokemon sending a pokemon to let's go pikachu and eevee they give you a mystery box so you could catch meltan and stuff like that so you get one of those and then it's gonna say, open up Pokemon Home to check to see if you got the Pokemon. And that's what exactly what I'm gonna do now. Jump into the Pokemon Home app. Now that I'm in the Pokemon Home app, once you log in, you get hit with that message that you have received Pokemon from Pokemon Go. They let you know right away. Do note that I'm doing it on my phone so I can receive the Meltan GIF. You cannot receive the Meltan GIF, I believe, via the Nintendo Switch version. You have to go into the mobile version first. So I figure I just killed two birds with one stone. However, I have seen people just jump straight into the Nintendo Switch one after sending a Pokemon via Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home. You could just jump on your Nintendo Switch and receive the Pokemon. That way, there is a tab on the Nintendo Switch version. I will show you it right here. This is the tab. Once you bring a Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Home, you want to go here and you can receive them here now once you got your pokemon in once you got your logio whatever pokemon that is that you're sending from pokemon go into pokemon home you can redeem your mel metal that can gigantamax and to me i'm excited about this because again this is one of the like missing pieces that have been inside of pokemon sword and shield since its release and that is a mel metal 
Deccan Gigantamax. So in order to pick up your Mel Metal, what you want to do, what you want to do is go into Mystery Gifts. To get to Mystery Gifts, all you got to do is hit the um, the three line settings to bring up your uh, menus options. Hit Mystery Gift. Once you hit Mystery Gift, you're going to be sent to the Mystery Gift screen. And then on the bottom, on the white, tab there's going to be it's going to be a tab that says gift box you want to click that and then right on top if this is the last thing that you did it's going to say gift for blinking pokemon go and there it is your g max mel metal now from here on out you officially got your g max mel metal inside of pokemon home as well as the first pokemon that you brought in from pokemon go into your pokemon home now i am gonna bring my g max mel metal and showcase it here do note that the g max mel metal cannot be shiny as of right now as a recording there's no way to get a shiny mel metal that can gigantamax because you cannot feed a shiny mel metal the gigantamax soup for it to learn the g max and they haven't distributed one that can g max that is also shiny yet. Hopefully in the future, the Pokemon company do make shiny Gigantamax Mel Metal a thing and hopefully we can hunt for it or get it as a gift or whatever the case may be. Now, I do think this is pretty cool. It's kind of a weird rollout they had at the beginning. I gotta give Niantic that. They are the kings of messing out a rollout just like they did with the mega evolutions inside of pokemon go but then again that is a totally different story i don't want to bring this video um and make it too too too, too long so i am going to end it here again if you have any questions on how to bring a pokemon from pokemon go into pokemon home into pokemon sword and shield let's have that conversation in the comment section below also let me know your thoughts of this feature do you think it's cool that we are allowed to bring pokemon from pokemon go into pokemon home i think it's cool i think it should have been rolled out since pokemon home dropped as well as rolled out as a premiere feature for pokemon home basically you know being able to roll in and drop all your pokemon go pokemon if you want to but apparently that's not going to be the case but it's still pretty cool that we still have this option and of course if your pokemon that you are looking to bring in is part of the 150 gen 1 pokemon you can just use pokemon let's go pikachu and eevee that way so you won't waste any of your charge from your pokemon go to pokemon home transporter so if you liked the video and found it informative in any way please hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the videos if you're new around here hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the vibes and you're this far in the video please hit that subscribe button i do videos like this every day i try to drop a pokemon video as well as something else related to a different game so again if you join the vibes hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video ring the bell so you can be notified the bell is somewhere down there as well peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one